In these problems, we're dealing with systems of inequality. So we've got more than one inequality here, and we're solving them graphically. And what that means is we're going to graph each of these inequalities, and then we're going to look at where the overlap is and uh, create a shaded region. And that region is the solution. It's every, every possible pair of coordinates that could solve this system of inequalities. Well, let's start by graphing this first inequality. We have y is less than or equal to negative x. So the first thing I want to do is kind of sketch in the line y equals negative x. Well, and that line has a slope of negative 1, so it's going to slope downward. And it has a y-intercept of 0. So it's going to look something like, now, well, actually, before I sketch it in, I want to ask, is this a less than or is it a less than or equal to? Less than or equal to is going to be a solid line. Plain old less than, which doesn't include um, that number is going to be a dashed line. This one's going to be a solid line, so we'll just sketch that in here roughly. So, so there's my y equals negative x. y is less than or equal to is going to be the stuff below. So it's all of this area down here. So there's our first inequality, and the shaded region is below. Let's work on the next one. We've got y is greater than or equal to 2x minus 4. Well, it's got a y-intercept of minus 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4. It's got a slope of a positive 2, so rise over run, it goes up 2 over 1. It's going to look something like this. And the region is greater than or equal to, so it's going to be above the line. So it's all of this area in, well, I'm going to put the shading the other way. So that's that inequality. And the place where the overlap is right in here. So that is our solution to this system of inequalities. Let's try the next one. Same thing, graph the system of inequalities. We've got y is less than or equal, equal to x plus 8. So that's a y-intercept of 8. 4, 6, 8. And a slope of positive 1. So it's going to look something like that. And that's y is less than or equal to, so it's going to be the shaded area below. And then we've got, aha, uh -huh. now here we have to do some moving around here. This solution is not in, or this uh, inequality is not in y equals mx plus b form. So, but to do it, it's pretty easy. I'm just going to subtract 2x from each side, and I get y is less than or equal to negative 2x minus 1. So that's got a y-intercept of minus 1. It's got a slope of negative 2, so down 2 and over 1. So it'll look something like that. And that's y is less than, so it's the area below. And then where these two overlap is this region right in here, and that is our solution. We've got one more to do here. Now this one might throw you for a loop a little bit because there's no y in here at all. We've got x is greater than or equal to negative 6, and x is less than negative 2. So let's go ahead and, and try to graph x, the line x equals negative 6. Well, where is x negative 6? 2, 4, 6, right here. But x is negative 6 all along this vertical line. So that's the line x equals negative 6. Where x is greater than or equal to negative 6 is everywhere to the right of that. Now let's graph here x equals negative 2. And in this case, because it's just less than and not less than or equal to, I'm going to do a dotted line on x equals negative 2. So something like that. And then we want x is less than. So for this one, we're going in this direction. And where they overlap is this chunk right in the middle. So that's a little bit about solving systems of inequalities with graphing.